What is going on, comic book fans? Welcome back to Bruce and Stephanie Comics. My name is Bruce, and it is time for another comic book speculation recommendations video. The video where I look up into the future at Final Order Cutoff, a new comic day of next week. But before we get into all that, I do want to apologize for this video coming out a day late, but there is a good reason, guys. There is a good reason for that, and that is yesterday was our youngest son's last and final field trip of the year, and Stephanie and I both chaperoned the trip, and it was so much fun. But guys, I am back today. I'm recording comic book speculation recommendations video on June 9th of 2022 and we're going to go over all the books that have speculation coming out on this weekend's final order cutoff and then go over my picks for next week's new comic book day spec but before we get into that let's go over my two reminders that i tell you guys about each and every single week but if you guys already know these reminders go ahead and look down there's timestamps, and you guys can skip ahead to final order cutoff speculation all right reminder number one is simple it's easy you guys have to do your own research this is very important this is a speculation video i am taking my knowledge of comics and making some education guesses on what I think might be popular on the secondary market in the future but what you guys should do is take what I say and then go check out the comic book youtubers you trust other comic book websites that you trust and other comic book apps that you trust gather the most information possible so that way you guys can make the best decisions possible for yourself because remember you're spending your own hard-earned money on these books not my money your money and last but not least, guys, there are delays in comic books. So sometimes I will talk about a book multiple times, both on Final Order Cutoff and New Comic Book Day, because the release date for that book got pushed back for one reason or another. So that is why sometimes books will show up multiple times on either Final Order Cutoff list or my New Comic Book Day spec list. All right, guys, let's not waste any more time and go ahead and jump into all the books that have speculation coming out on this week's Final Order Cutoff, which is June 12th for your DC and Scout books and June 13th for your Marvel and all the other independent titles. And I just also want to apologize for having the wrong dates in last week's video. I was rushing to get that video out and I totally wrote down the wrong dates. So I apologize for that. But guys, we're back and these are the real dates. June 12th for your DC and Scout and then June 13th for your Marvel and Indie titles. All right, guys, just like each and every single week, we're going to cover my cover lover picks. These are books that I think might do well on the secondary market based on the cover art alone. We have three books to talk about, so let's go ahead and dive right in. And the first one up is actually for Daredevil number one, the new series from Chip Zdarsky and Marco Giacchetto. And this is the one in 25 Ryan Stegman cover. Maybe it's because I am a huge Ryan Stegman fan, but I think this cover is absolutely gorgeous. It features both Daredevils. We're talking about Matt Murdock in Elektra, and it is just super cool in my opinion and I think this book might do well on the secondary market and the second cover I think might do well on the secondary market is actually for Immortal X-Men number four the cover A which is amazing and it is done by Mark Brooks and this cover features Emma Frost laying in a bed covered in this red silk sheet I'm guessing and she just looks absolutely gorgeous Mark Brooks killed it on this cover and the last and final cover that I think might do well on the secondary market and I think a lot of this is going to depend on if the guts of this book is actually pretty good is Poison Ivy number to the Christian Ward cover. This is the cover F version. I think this is the best out of this week's... <clears throat> I think this is the best out of the Poison Ivy number two covers, but guys, let me know down in the comments below. Do you guys like any of these covers? Do you think any of these covers will do well on the secondary market? Let me know down in the comments. All right, guys, with our cover lover picks out of the way, it is time to go over all the books that have speculation coming out on this weekend's final order cutoff and stick around to the end of the list because I will let you guys know what my spec picks of the week are. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and dive right in. And the first book up is Batman number 125. This is the start of the new creative team of Chip Zdarsky and Jorge Mendes. I am super excited about this, but I personally do not love the spec, but there are some really cool cards for this book. And the next book up is Black Adam, Justice Society Files, Hawkman number one. This is a one-shot prequel to the Black Adam movie, and that's it. Next up is Flashpoint Beyond, number three, with the first appearance of Project Superman. Next up is Monkey Prince, number six, and this has the first appearance of Sandra, a goth girl who might be an important supporting character to Monkey Prince. Next up is Superman, Son of Kal-El, number 13. This has the first appearance of Dreamer, a transgender hero who first appeared in CW's Arrowverse. Next up is Avengers X-Men Eternals Eve Judgment, number one. This is a one-shot tie-in to the Avengers vs. X-Men vs. Eternals event. 
Next up is Daredevil number one. The solicitation says Matt Murdock has no choice but to leave behind everything he's ever known. And Elektra is the last vestige of her former life. Next up is Moon Knight number 13. This has the first team appearance of the Vampires of Structure. Next up, with the final book that has speculation coming out on this weekend's final order cutoff is Spider-Punk number three. And this has the first appearance of Matea Murdock, a Daredevil drummer from Philly. All right, guys, I don't even have to go back over that list to let you guys know what my spec pick for Final Order Cardoff is. And it's simple, it's easy, it's save your money. Two weeks in a row, I'm gonna suggest to you guys to not buy anything in bulk to make money because there really isn't any money to be made from the books on Final Order or Cutoff. I don't think the first appearances are super strong. I don't think they're quick flips. I also don't think they'll make you money in the long term. And also with the big books, with Batman number 125, with the new creative team, and Daredevil kicking off with a new number one, I still think those books really won't make you money in the long term. But guys, let me know down in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Maybe I should have put one my cover lover picks of the week for my spec pick of the week but guys i am simply saying save your money two weeks in a row don't speculate on any final order cutoff books all right guys let's go ahead and dive into my new comic book day spec picks all right guys it is time to go over my new comic book day spec picks for june 15th of 2022 and we're gonna kick it off just like final order cutoff with my cover lover picks All right, guys, there are two covers that I really like, and the first one up is Spider-Gwen, Gwen First, number three, the Ivan Tao Golden Apple Comics exclusive trade dress inversion cover featuring Ghost Spider. I love these covers. I think these covers are absolutely gorgeous, and I am not a huge Ivan Tao fan. I think the way he does faces is really weird, but the fact that Ghost Spider has her mask on eliminates that weird face thing, and I think this cover is gorgeous. I love the pose. I love the amount of detail in this cover. I also love that it's on a white background. It kind of gives it that negative space look, but overall, this cover is gorgeous, and I like the Virgin in trade dress. You can get both for just $45 in the link down in the description, but guys, let's go ahead and move over to my next cover, which is Immortal Red Sonya number three by David Nakayama. I am showing off the cover L. There's also the A cover, which is the same exact cover, but with trade dress. And there's also a one in 11, one in 11 ratio variant cover. And it is a black and white virgin variant. So it's the same cover as the L, but black and white. I think all these are gorgeous covers and I think they might do well on the secondary market. All right, guys, those are my two cover lover picks. Let's go ahead and move into my new comic book day spec picks. All right, guys, there is only one. That's right, one book coming out this week that I think you guys might want to speculate on, and that is Grim number one. That's right, you heard that right. Grim number one, the third print. Guys, the second print right now is going for $30 to $35 on the secondary market, and that book just came out a few weeks ago. I think the third print could do the same exact thing, so why not score yourself a couple copies of this book and see how it does on the secondary market. This book is very popular, and I think it'd be silly of anyone if they see the third print at your local LCS not to pick it up and just see what happens. And that is the only book that I think you guys should be speculating on. But there is one other book that I just want to mention. I want to put this out into the world because I am super excited about this book. But that does not mean you guys should speculate on this book. And that is Do a Power Bomb number one by Darren Warren Johnson. He wrote the book. He also did all the interiors for the book, and I think this sounds like such a cool book. Let me just read you the synopsis real quick. A pro wrestler living in the shadow of her legendary mother is approached by a necromancer. You heard that right. Necromancer who invites her to join the grandest and most dangerous tournament of all time time. I think that sounds so freaking cool. It also has the artwork of Darren Warren Johnson, which he does action scenes like no one else. It's such a, he's just, he's such a good artist when it comes to action and just like big environments and so many cool things. I think he's amazing and his storytelling is out of this world good. Have you guys read Murder Falcon? If you haven't, you should. Have you read Wonder Woman Dead Earth? If you haven't, you should. Have you read his Beta Ray Bill story? If you haven't, you should. And I'm not saying speculate on this book. No, I'm not saying speculating on it. I just wanted to put this in this video because I am so excited for this book. It's coming out next week on New Comic Book Day. It's most likely gonna be in my must-have pickets video, but I wanted to get it out early in case you guys want to reach out to your local LCS and say, hey, Bruce is really excited about this book. I want to be really excited about this book, so please put it on my pull list. All right, guys, that is it. Let's go ahead and wrap this video up. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of the video. You guys are legends for making it this far. Now, become even bigger legends by leaving a comment down below letting me know what you think about this week's final order cutoff spec that I spoke about and also new comic book day. Now, obviously, I said not to speculate on 
any final order cut off books. But do you guys think I'm crazy? Is there a book that you really like that you think will do well in the secondary market? Guys, let me know down in the comments below. And what did you think about only having one book? That's right, one book to speculate on for new comic book day. I do think it's a good one, but guys, let me know down in the comments below if I missed anything. All right, guys. Now is the time. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, get yourself subscribed. Hit that bell for notification and smash that like button. And also, if you'd like to support the channel, guys, you can become a channel member for just $4.99 a month. And each month, you get an entry in to winning a $50 mystery box, a box filled with $50 worth of stuff. And normally, I put way more than $50 worth in there because I'm just like pulling from my own personal collection and filling it up and also grabbing some really cool variant covers and things from my local LCS to fill up that box and make it special for you guys, but that's it guys. The next 10 seconds is all about my nine amazing channel members. And guys, I'll catch you guys hopefully tomorrow, which is Friday, June 10th for my Marvel previews video. All right guys, have yourself a great day and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.